hello students welcome to nagesh karas ke or kids school channel myself priya teacher and today i am going to teach you science subject for class 7 so children we uh, learned in our last session that what are the units of time and speed so can you tell me which are the units of time and speed yes correct so units of time and speed are different and unit of time it is a seconds minutes and hour and the unit of speed it is a kilometer per second oh, sorry kilometer per hour or we can say meter per second okay so these are the units of speed and time so let us move to our next point of our lesson number 13 motion and time which is a measuring speed so in your textbook 13.4 it is a measuring speed though we learned that what which are the units of speed then also here it is in textbook a uh, activity it is given in your textbook and by this you can learn that how we can measure speed okay so let us read this point having learned how to measure time and distance you can calculate the speed of an object so let us find the speed of a ball moving along the ground so what activity is given here read with me draw a straight line on the ground with chalk powder or lime and ask one of your friends to stand 1 to 2 meter away from it okay so what you have to do you have to make a straight line you you have to draw a st straight line on ground and then with the uh, help of chalk powder or lime you can make a mark of straight line okay and then uh, again you have to make your friend to stand 1 to 2 meter away from that straight line okay then after that let your friend gently roll a ball along the ground in a direction perpendicular to the line so what you have to do next you have to take a ball and then you have to roll that ball gently okay smoothly slowly you have to roll that ball then uh, on ground you have to do this on ground you have to roll a ball then in a direction perpendicular so you know you learned in a maths that uh, what is a perpendicular line okay so whatever straight line is there so in perpendicular direction to the straight line you have to roll uh, whatever ball you taken then note the time at the moment the ball crosses the line and also when it comes to rest so when you are going to roll that ball so your friend one more friend you have to keep ready to note the time so what time you have to record here so you have to record the time of moment at which that ball crosses the line okay so at which that ball is going to cross the line that time you have to record here again what you have to do then after that also you have to note that time at which that ball is going to rest okay so when it comes to rest that uh, that time is also you have to note down in your notebook and then how much time does the ball take to come rest okay so then you have to compare that what time it is going to cross line and uh, at which time it is going to come to rest okay that you have to uh note down here and you have to observe here so whatever given in this box this uh, we will learn after this point okay so afterward we will discuss this whatever it is given extra information in your textbook so we will continue our activity in this picture you can see this boy is going to uh, is rolling a ball and here it is a straight line so this is a straight line which is made on a ground with chalk powder and you can see in a perpendicular direction it is going to cut this line in a 90 degree it means it is the perpendicular so this boy is rolling this ball perpendicular to the to this straight line and what you have to do you have to keep ready one friend one of your friend and you have to make him to note down whatever time after crossing this line okay when this ball is going to cross this line 
at that time you have to note down whatever whatever time is there and after that what you have to do again you have to note down that time at which this ball is going to come to rest okay so these both timings you have to note down by this activity then see <coughs> then measure the distance between the point at which the ball crosses and after that what you have to do after note down uh, timing of this crossing and uh, coming to rest you have to measure the distance so measure the distance between the point at which the ball crosses the line so whatever distance is there that distance between the point at which ball crosses the line and the point where it comes to rest so when this ball is going to cross the line from this point you have to uh, measure distance when this ball is going to come to rest when it that uh, ball will come to rest at that time or that uh, at that point you have to make a mark and from this mark and whatever mark is there again so after crossing this line so from that line also we can say then this line uh, this point then last point you have to measure distance in between these two points okay have you got this you have to measure distance at the point or in between the point of crossing the ball and uh, that ball come to rest okay so in between these two points you have to measure distance then <coughs> you can use a scale so you can use scale but also you can make a measuring use a measuring tape also so measuring tape it will be easy for you to measure this distance okay so scale it is uh, it is possible but it will take more time so that is why you can take measuring tape then let different groups repeat the activity and not only once you have to do this activity also you have to perform this activity with your other friends okay so make your other make your friend also uh, to perform this activity and also you have to record the measurements in a table 13.3 so whatever 13.3 is here see distance moved and time taken by a moving ball so name of the group <coughs> whatever columns are there first column it is a name of the group then second one distance moved by the ball then third one time taken in a seconds distance in a meter and speed is equal to distance per time taken which is a meter per second so these four columns are given here in this 13.3 and you have to complete this table so you may now like to compare your speed of walking or cycling with that of your friend also uh, this is a one example uh, of rolling ball so which is going to perform by your friends and also by you then you have to record this measurements in a 13.3 and not only this example or not only this activity you can do or with this activity you cannot complete this table but also you may now like to compare your speed of walking so whenever you are going to walk that speed also you can measure that time also you can measure and also after that it's cycling with that of your friends and also you can compare this walking speed and cycling the speed of cycling of your friends okay so this you can compare and you can note down and you can write in a form of table then you need to know the distance of the school from your home or from some other point okay but whenever you are going to measure this speed of walking and cycling you should have to know or you need to know that distance whatever distance in between school and at your home or you can see uh, that you can compare whatever distance is there in between your home and whatever garden is there uh, where you are you can you are going to play from that garden to your home also you can compare this or from school to that garden also you can compare this okay so whatever the uh, points you are going to take you have to know you should have to know that whatever distance in between these two points and after that you can compare 
then each one you uh, each one of you can then measure the time taken to cover that distance and calculate your speed it may be interesting to know who amongst you is the fastest so whenever you are going to know the distance and after that you are going to measure the speed and by this you will go, uh, come to know that who is the fastest one okay so that friend who is going to uh, who is going to uh, from uh, home to the garden or from home to the school by bicycle or by walking so you will come to know that who is who is the fastest one then speeds of the some living organisms are given so children after this you have to make a table so whenever you are going to compare whatever distance is there whatever speed is there then uh, you have to complete this 13.4 also you sorry you have to read this for 13.4 table so whatever it is given here so you can calculate the speeds in meter per second by yourself okay so rockets launching satellites into earth's or orbit so these are some uh, more examples okay so rockets are also having a particular speed and whenever they are going to launch in uh, launch in in a space so what happens here so these uh, set rockets are also having that whatever speed is there so that speed to move into the earth's orbit so often attain so whenever that speed is then that average speed is often attain speeds up to the 8 km per second so these rockets are having 8 km per second so see how fast they can go rockets how fast they can go so they can go 8 km in each second okay so after each second they can go to 8 km they can cover the distance of 8 km so this is a very high speed so in a minute also you cannot uh, go 8 km okay but these rockets can go 8 km in a second so on the other hand a tortoise can move only with a speed of about 8 cm per second so here you can see rockets are having amazing speed but here with tortoise what happens here so tortoise can move only with a speed of about 8 cm so 8 cm is the half of your scale okay if you are having a uh, scale of 1 feet then it will not half also and then if you are having a compass box scale whatever you are keep, uh, that keeping in your compass box that scale is also uh, half scale is also longer than this distance or oh, sorry length okay so 8 cm so that 8 cm per second this speed is very slow so tortoise can only move from one place to another so in a second it will go 8 cm only so can you calculate how fast is the rocket compared with the tortoise so that it is given in activity whenever you whenever you are going to compare so distance or speed of walking and speed of cycling and also here some examples are given that rocket is very fast and tortoise is very slow so what you have to do you have to compare that speed so how you will compare this speed that is asked here so once you know the speed of an object so first you have to know the speed of an object so here you know that what are what is the speed of these objects so speed of rockets it is a 8 km per second and speed of tortoise it is a 8 cm per second so then you can find the distance moved by it in a given time so all you have to do is to multiply the speed by the time so thus distance covered is equal to speed into time and you can also find the time an object you would take to cover a distance while moving with a given speed so in our last session when i explain that what is the unit what are the units of speed and how we can measure or what are, what is the formula of speed that time only i told you this concept what concept is given here so if there are two things are given you can calculate or you can know third one okay 
suppose distance and speed is given then you can calculate uh, or you can come to know what is the time needed there or what is the time covered or requ uh, required there then if suppose speed and time is given then you you may know you can know uh, distance and suppose the time and distance is given you come to know how uh, what is the speed is there so like this from these three uh, factors you can if suppose you know two then you can know third one you can calculate third one okay so here it is given so a uh, 13.4 fast rate speed that come animals can attain so you might have seen a meter fitted on a top of a scooter oh, sorry sorry so time is equal to time taken is equal to distance upon speed so here it is given a formula how you can know so if suppose speed and time is given then distance is equal to speed into time and if suppose you want to know time then time is equal to distance distance above upon speed and here in this table you can see the fastest speed that some animals can attain so this table you have to complete so you have to find out some animals given here or some objects are given here so what are, what are the animals are here so see cheetah is there or then falcon is there then blue fish rabbit squirrel domestic mouse then human giant tortoise then snail is there so you you are you are knowing or you, it is given speed in kilometer per hour so whatever speed of these animals kilometer per hour you can know that what it uh, you can do this conversion of this speed in a meter per second so how you can do so it if suppose it is given 320 so you have to divide this 320 by 60 then you have to multiply this with a 1000 upon 60 like this okay so in our next session i will explain you how you have to solve before that you have to do this activity at your home by this formula whatever formula is given in this uh, lesson now in 13.4 that you can calculate speed you can calculate distance and you can calculate time also like this you, you can complete this table if suppose you not it is not possible for you i will explain it then you might have seen a meter fitted on a top of a scooter or a motorcycle so similarly meters can be seen on the dashboard if suppose you are going to any other uh, city with uh, by car or by bus then uh, maybe you have been seen or you have seen there is a meter which is fitted on the top of a scooter if suppose you are going by scooter or motorcycle then also you will see there is a in between two uh, handles there is a meter fitted on a top of a scooter okay so it is showing a dashboards of cars then buses and other vehicles also it is there in a dashboard of cars buses and other vehicles so what are these meters so note that one of that meters has kilometer per hour so that one of these meter so there are two or three meters are there so one meter suppose is there so that meter is having measurement of kilometer per hour then written at one corner this is called a pseudometer so when it is showing a any number which is in a kilometer or of which that um, unit is kilometer per hour that is known as speedometer and then it records the speed and next one here you can see this type of meters you can see on the dashboard of car buses or other vehicles other four wheelers and also on a two wheelers also speed directly in kilometer per hour there is a also another meter that measures the distance moved by the vehicle so this meter is known as a odometer so whenever there is a speedometer it is going to calculate here you can see this is a kilometer per hour here you can see the number uh, sorry you need kilometer per hour it means it is going to uh, measure speed and it is going to uh, tell us what is the speed of our vehicle so speed is directly in a kilometer per hour and this is known as speedometer and also that another meter which is going to measure the distance moved by the vehicle 
uh, we can measure by the speedometer speed, but also another meter is there which is going to measure distance. So, whatever distance we moved that is going to know by this meter which is going to measure the distance. So, this is known as a or this meter is known as a odometer. So, students like Paheli, you can also perform this activity. Okay? So, if, you, if suppose you are going to school picnic or uh, sorry to school picnic with your teacher. So, like Paheli also you can do this activity, you can measure this speed also or you can uh, take this readings whatever are given there in a speedometer and also in a odometer. Then one more it is uh, uh, thing is given that can you tell how far was the picnic spot from the school. So, uh, whatever picnic spot is there, so you have to know whatever distance is there, how far it means you have to measure distance or you have to know this distance. So, whatever distance in between your school and that picnic point you should have to know. Then can you calculate the speed of the bus? Then also you have to calculate speed. If suppose odometer and speedometer is not there, then also you can calculate uh, distance and speed. So, that it is given here, suppose odometer and speedometer is, ne is not there. So, by this meter, odometer and speedometer, you can measure speed and distance. Uh, uh, like Pahili, you can take readings. If suppose you are going somewhere for the picnic, then you can take reading by this speedometer and uh, that odometer and you can calculate distance or you can note down distance and speed. But suppose uh, it, it is not given or odometer is not there, spe speedometer is not there and you are going by bus for a picnic, then if suppose you know that whatever distance is there in between school and picnic point, that distance from by this distance you can calculate that whatever speed is there and by this speed, how you can calculate? You know this formula of speed, speed is equal to distance upon time. So, you, you will need three things. Uh, first will, so whatever distance in between the picnic point and school, then the second one you will need a time, uh, sorry watch to note down the time and also you will need, uh, you, we, you will get after this that whatever speed is there. Okay? So, by speedometer what you will know that what is the speed of that vehicle and by this you will come to know that what whatever if suppose you will know by the speedometer what is the speed and by the uh, distance whatever distance is covered then you will uh, come to know whatever time is le, uh, whatever time is covered there or how many how much time you travel so you will come to know so you can know or you can calculate by this odometer and speedometer so whatever two numbers you are knowing or whatever two quantities you are knowing by this you will know the third one. So, this example is given in your textbook. So, how you can present this by the graph. So, this point we will discuss in our next session. So, now we will just take a look what we discussed today. First one it is a speedometer. So, see measuring of speed like this if suppose speed is uh, you you want to calculate speed then distance and time required you want to calculate distance then speed into time like this you can calculate then if you want to calculate time then distance upon speed you will get the time so last session in last session also we discussed these points so if suppose speed of an object can be measured if to we know the distance covered by the object and time taken. So, a example is given here and you can come to know any one uh, for a, you can calculate any one factor of this speed, distance or time. And now speedometer. So, speedometer is a device which measures the speed of vehicles in kilometer per hour. So, what is mean by speedometer? Speedometer is a device which measures the speed of vehicles in kilometer per hour. So, that meter which is showing kilometer per hour units that is showing us that it is a speedometer and 
odometer so odometer is a device which measures the distance covered by a vehicle so see odometer what is mean by odometer odometer is a device which measures the distance covered by a vehicle so here you can see in this first picture it is a speedometer in speedometer this needle is showing only a speed then what speed is given here in a speedometer so from 0 then 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 and 160 so this is a what it is these are numbers and also you can see the inner side of this speedometer or these uh, bigger numbers there are again 0 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 these numbers are given here so what they are going to tell us so 60 60 it means it is these are the this uh, is a these are seconds okay so suppose here it is given 100 so this needle is showing 100 so what it what number is there 160 160 it means a kilometer per hour it is given so 160 it means how many hours are covered here so 120 it means 2 hours okay and then 140 it means 20 minutes extra then 160 it means 20 minutes extra it means 2 hours and 40 minutes okay so this speedometer is showing or this uh, speedometer is having a unit of kilometer per hour so you can see the 100 meter it can sorry kilometer it can go in a 2 hour and 40 minutes so like this you can know that whatever speed of this vehicle then in this second picture you can see speedometer and odometer so speedometer and odometer both are given in a same meter so here you can see this is a, these are number again but here in this in between these numbers you can see some digital numbers first number here it is given upper side and at the center so lower side of the center it is given the kilometer per hour so this is nothing but a distance okay we know that odometer is going to show us whatever distance is covered so whenever these numbers are not having units and these numbers are having units it means the whatever unit is there kilometer per hour so we know kilometer per hour is the unit of speed it means it is a speedometer or it is showing us a speed then uh, this is showing distance so these numbers are showing distance these number are showing uh, speed and both you can see in this speedometer and odometer okay so we will see a video now and we'll take a recap of this session measuring speed let us conduct a small activity to measure the speed of an object we are now going to measure the speed of a ball draw a straight line with the help of a chalk stand about one or two meters away from the line and roll the ball on the ground such that it rolls perpendicular to the line drawn record the time at the moment when the ball touches the line and also when it comes to rest the distance between the point where the ball crossed the line and the point where it came to rest has to be measured let different people repeat the same activity and record all the measurements calculate the speed in each case we can now compare the speed of various activities like walking or cycling with our friends the speed of different animals can also be measured. It is interesting to know that the satellites launched into the Earth's orbit by rockets obtain a speed of 8 km per second, while a tortoise can move only at a speed of 8 cm per second. Once we have a speed of an object, we can find the distance moved in a given time by using the formula distance is equal to speed into time. We can also find out the time that a particular object would take to cover a given distance at a certain speed. By using the formula, time taken is equal to distance by speed. One must have observed a meter fixed on vehicles to measure the speed. Such a device is known as speedometer. There is also another device called the odometer which measures the distance moved by the vehicle. Okay children, hope you understood 
how we can calculate or why, how we can measure speed and also how we can compare speed in between two different type of speed cover okay uh, or we can say in between two examples of speed uh, that we discussed today so today we will stop here and whatever graph presentation is there of speed and time and distance we will discuss in our next session so we will stop here thank you